This story originally appeared on The Athletic, the best place to read about football online. Visit www.theathletic.co.uk forward slash TIFO football for a 30 day free trial and 50% off an annual subscription. Cast a glance in the direction of the Stanford Bridge press box on match days this season, and there's a decent chance that you'll spot Petter Cech. Chelsea's new technical and performance advisor has taken a liking to the media's vantage point, situated a matter of yards behind the dugouts deep in the East Stand's lower tier. Against Valencia in September, he could be seen shifting uncomfortably in his seat, trying to kick every ball with Frank Lampard's team as their Champions League campaign began with a defeat. But when he wants a different view of proceedings, Czech is not short of options. Sometimes he watches from the TV gantry high up in the East Stand. On occasions, the other side of the ground, alongside Chief Executive Marina Granovskia in a West Stand box. Working closely with Granovskia is key for Czech, whose wordy job title was explained only in rather abstract terms when his long-awaited return to the club was announced in June. The focus of the job will be to provide advice on all football and performance matters throughout the club as well as embed and facilitate strong links between our men's and academy teams, ensuring that the various support departments are working together effectively," read Chelsea's statement. But what does that actually mean in practice? Well, Czech is still feeling his way in his new role, but a core routine has already emerged in his first few months back at Cobham. The former goalkeeper watches the first team play home and away, sitting in the director's box with Chelsea executives for the latter. Working from an office at the training ground, he also watches every development squad game and talks regularly to academy staff as well as the scouting, analysis and loan departments. Based on those conversations, he then relays information and technical advice to Granovskia. Dealing with transfer targets and agents remains the remit of Granovskia, who maintains ultimate decision-making power over day-to-day -day football operations on behalf of owner Roman Abramovich. Czech does have a seat at the table when it comes to personnel discussions, which due to the transfer ban at present consist mainly of which players are to be sold or loaned out, but his voice provides counsel rather than final judgment. On the whole, Czech's job is more inwardly focused relaying information and support to make sure the different technical departments are aligned. His office is across the corridor from Lampard's, and the old teammates speak often, with Czech a daily observer of the first team's training. Some of these are the same responsibilities once held by Michele Manalo, but as the different job title indicates, Czech is not a like-for-like -like replacement. He does not have his own network of transfer contacts and does not directly manage anyone at Cobham. His primary function is to act as the glue that binds everyone together. Those at the club also insist Czech is not there to act as a buffer between the manager and the board, as Emanalo sometimes did, most notably when palpable discord reigned under Jose Mourinho and relations with Antonio Conte grew strained and toxic. Lampard has his own long-standing relationship with Abramovich and gets on well with Granovsky, talking to her most days. His recruitment was an entirely separate process to Lampard's appointment as manager, but the deep friendship and trust between the two men has helped both quickly settle into their new jobs. One of Manalo's strengths was his ability to build and maintain positive relationships with people at all levels of the club. Czech's likeable personality and his intelligence, both intellectual and emotional, made him a natural candidate to assure some of the same responsibilities, and he was identified as suitable for this kind of job before he ever left to play for Arsenal in the summer of 2015. Few players are afforded the kind of private audience with Abramovich that Czech was granted when he voiced his desire to join Arsenal during a meeting at the Russian's London residence, and the fact his wish was respected, in spite of Mourinho making clear his opposition to the move in public and private, underlined the rare level of esteem in which he was held by the owner. Imanalo's resignation in November 2017 took Chelsea by surprise, and the club reflected for more than a year on how to best replace him, or whether to replace him at all. Michael Balak and Giuliano Belletti were among the illustrious former Chelsea players linked, but once the new technical structure was decided, Czech was the standout choice. Abramovich and Granovskia preferred to wait until he retired as a player than consider other candidates who might be available sooner. Abramovich has always been keen for the legends of Chelsea's greatest era to be kept in the fold and preferably on the payroll, provided suitable jobs can be found. The scenario he has always wanted to avoid is best summed up by the post-retirement path of Patrick Vieira, an undeniable Arsenal legend who became more associated with Manchester City after being denied a coaching pathway in North London by Arsene Wenger. 
The decision to appoint Lampard as head coach last summer represented the logical culmination of this Abramovich directive. But Czech's return in a broader strategic role is arguably an even stronger signal of the owner's desire to maintain the legacy of past achievements at Cobham for the long term. As a player, Czech was often the man prepared to front up to the media after difficult results, talking with candor and maturity about what had gone wrong. While generally mild-mannered, he was always prepared to hold teammates accountable for mistakes in the dressing room during heated post-match inquests, most notably after a 2-1 loss against West Brom back in November 2012 that left Roberto Di Matteo on the brink of the sack. While Imanalo at times stepped forward to inform the squad of Abramovich's periodic dissatisfaction, it's highly unlikely that Czech will step on Lampard's toes if discipline ever needs to be reinforced. But there is no doubt that Chelsea's technical and performance advisor is every bit as fiercely passionate about ensuring that standards do not drop. Chelsea expect Czech will develop in his role as he learns and grows in experience. It's not inconceivable that his responsibilities will expand and his job title change in time, though club insiders point out that it is far too early to talk about him as a potential future sporting or technical director, not least because their management structure is different to that of many other elite European clubs. The script for this video, written by Simon Johnson and Liam Twomey, was originally featured on The Athletic, the best place to read about football online. Whether it's more complicated roles explained, dedicated local reporting about your team, or rich storytelling from around the world, you'll find it all in one place. And if you're keen to read more in-depth pieces on Chelsea or your club, get a 30-day free trial by visiting theathletic.co.uk forward slash TIFO football and get 50% off if you sign up for an annual subscription. To support TIFO, support The Athletic. Thank you for watching. Thank <laughs> you.